In this Revit Quick Tips video, I'm going to show you how to extend individual layers in a composite wall. So what we're looking at on screen here is a section of floor and a composite wall sitting on top of it. Let's just zoom out a little bit there, see more of it. And if I flick to 3D, just orbit that around for you. So you can see the wall sort of teetering on the edge of the, the floor slab. Uh, let's go back to that section. So we want those two outside layers to extend down to the bottom of the floor while this inside layer stays up there and sits, sits on top of it. So we can do that, but first of all, we need to unlock these layers. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So select the wall, hit edit type, now, if the preview panel is not being displayed when you do that, you might see something like that there. It just means the preview has been put away. So just hit that preview button to expand it to the left. Now you need to zoom in so you can see the wall clearly and particularly the, the base of the wall. So what we need to do is edit the structure, hit the modify button, we want to actually work with the individual layers. Now, as you carefully hover over the bottom of the wall, you can see each of those layers highlights to tell you it's selectable. So let's pick that one there, select it. The little padlock tells us that it's currently locked and you'd find you'd, you'd see the same across all those layers. So the whole wall um, works in unison when you drag the, the top or the bottom up or down. But what we want to do is unlock some of these layers. We'll just work with this one for now. So all we need to do is click on the padlock to unlock it. And this is where you need to be really careful. You can see the padlock is blue. And it's only unlockable when it turns orange, it turns a different colour. So if you if you're not precise it'll just stay blue and you won't be able to click on it or you click on it and it won't unlock so when it changes color like that you can click on it and it's unlocked and that's it I can put that away now hit OK hit OK now if you select that bottom grip you'll find the wall moves up and down still in unison but that individual layer, because we're looking at this from the other end, so it was on the other side. This is a layer we unlocked. We can now control that one separately. So I can just use the align tool, the base of the wall down there, and then second operation just to lift that layer up. And there it is, our wall now sits uh, on top of and next to the edge of the floor slab. Just very quickly finish by seeing that in 3D. And there we have it.